guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this makeup look right here, which I am in love with, okay? This color combo is so pretty, so vibrant. You guys know I am all about the color. I love it. So for today's video, as you guys can see by the title, we're going to be using the Pure Raw Beauty Christie palette. This palette did launch a while ago. It was super hard to get your hands on. I ended up getting mine during the restock that they had that was not going to go out until like August and I ended up getting mine in September which is insane um, but I am happy that I got it. This palette comes with two sides. This side right here has a whole bunch of browns, neutral shades, super pretty but then of course you have this side that I love the most which is the colorful side. This is what the colorful side looks like right here. Super beautiful beautiful, super vibrant, and you guys, this was the first time that I was using any eyeshadow from Pure Cosmetics. If you watch my channel, you know that their 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation is one of my all-time favorite foundations ever, and that's the only thing that I pretty much have tried from them so far. Besides their lashes, their lashes are good as well, um, but this is the first time that I'm trying their eyeshadow formula, and I definitely have to say I was super impressed. This eyeshadow look came out so pretty today. I'm obsessed. I quickly just wanted to mention that around my hairline, it is red. I can see that. I swore I got out all the liquid lipstick. I did a Halloween look right before filming this video. So yes, girl, my skin probably hates me right now for putting on makeup twice today, but it's okay. It will live, okay? All for the content. So I did quickly want to mention that to you guys because I'm noticing it now and I'm like, oh my god, girl, you forgot to take the paint out of your hairline, but it's fine. Anyways, I hope you guys are excited for today's video. I did want to make sure that I'm catering to everyone because I do know it's October. I know it's Halloween. As you guys can see, I did change up my shelf back there. We have that nice Halloween-esque vibe going. It's spooky season. I love spooky season. There is Halloween looks coming but I wanted to make sure that I was switching it up on my channel and it wasn't just about Halloween looks so I hope you guys appreciate that I hope you guys enjoy today's video before we jump in please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up it really does help me out don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as hit the bell that's right next to that subscribe button girl it just allows you to know every single time I post a video it does give you a little alert saying hey your girl Tatanisha just posted a video so make sure that you guys hit that bell so you always can get notified every time I post I do post a new video on my channel every Monday and Friday and of course as always if you guys would like to see how I created this makeup look today using the Raw Beauty Christy X Pure collaboration then just keep on watching <music> Okay, you guys, so let's jump into today's makeup look. So, of course, I'm going to be using my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Number 2. I always use this base to prep my eyelids, especially, girl, especially when I'm using colorful shadows. I don't know what's in this base, but it truly does make your shadows pop, and it's just amazing. So, I do like to apply it all over the lid, and then I do pat it out with this Morphe brush. I did recommend this brush to you guys recently on my Instagram stories, but I will leave the exact brush down below as well. So, jumping into to the Pure X Raw Beauty Christy palette. I wanted to show you guys the packaging. Super beautiful. Like I said, one side is neutral and then the packaging is the same on the opposite side. But when you open it up, it's a beautiful, colorful palette. So the first shade I'm going to be using is this shade right here. And this one is called Flavor Town. And honestly, you guys, when I was applying this red eyeshadow, I was like, whoa, this is so pigmented. But then I looked at the package and it actually does say it's a pressed pigment palette. So that does make sense. It was super blendable, very easy to apply. So as always, you guys know, I always start off my looks with just building up the intensity of the first shadow, which is typically the second darkest shadow that I'm going to be using in the look. So that's exactly what I'm doing with this red shade. And then I did go in with no more product and just blended out that harsh line. And then I'm going to be jumping into the shade called I Am Orange, which is a beautiful, vibrant orange. And I'm going to be working this right over that red color. I just want to make sure that everything is blending really beautifully and nothing looks super harsh I want it kind of like a smoky look for today's video and then to further blend out that orange shade I am gonna be taking the shade dandelion which is such a beautiful yellow you guys and I'm taking it on a small blending brush and I'm honestly just diffusing that orange so when you actually diffuse the orange and the yellow it does create a really beautiful color in between the red it is gorgeous so I did do that just to make sure everything was nice and blended and of course at the end of the look I do go back and just intensify everything all over again so I just want to make sure that you guys know I'm taking this yellow all the way from the inner part of that crease all the way to the outer part of the crease 
And then of course, as you blend, your colors start to lose intensity. So I did go back in with the shade Flavor Town and just put that in the crease one more time. So we are gonna jump into the neutral side of the palette really quickly. So on the neutral side of the palette, I am gonna be taking the shade called You're Not My Real Dad. It's like a deep, deep brown, you guys. This color was super pigmented as well. Now, trying to blend a brown over a red is so difficult. I'm not even going to sit here and say that this was a piece of cake. It was definitely difficult. You definitely have to blend, blend, blend as much as possible. And I did end up going back in with the red shade and going over the brown just to help it look more diffused. So after that, of course, I'm going to cut my crease. I'm using this one from P. Louise. It's the same formula as Blank Canvas, just a different shade. So vibrant and so beautiful. I will leave the shade name down below in the description box for you guys. Um, so of course, I'm just going to go ahead and cut my crease. This color was perfect as a base for the color that we're going to be putting over to set it. Oh my goodness, I was obsessed, you guys. So I did go ahead and cut my crease. And honestly, you guys have seen me do this a million times. So I did fast forward through this part because honestly, I can take... 20 minutes plus just cutting my crease so to actually set everything in place i'm going to be using the shade garden state super beautiful color and literally it's like maybe a hair darker than the base that we used to cut our crease it was perfection i was so obsessed with this combo i love it so much so on the outer corner i just went back in with that darker brown and just popped that right on the outer corner and that was basically it super simple and easy so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the face makeup so i did go in with this new primer that I recently got. This is from the brand Ciate and this is their Watermelon Burst Primer. It's like a hydrating primer. I don't know how I feel about it yet. It was very slippery on the skin so I'll give you guys an update when I use it a little bit more. And then for foundation, I'm mixing the Becca. This is the Aqua Luminous Foundation and the Rare Beauty Foundation. And honestly, I saw Kathleen Lights do this combo not too long ago on her Instagram stories and I hate it. I'm just going to tell you guys right now, I hate this combo. My skin was super, super dewy. It looked so oily. I don't like it at all. And not to mention, the Becca foundation was so dark for me. So, yeah, I'm going to say that's definitely a no as far as combo for me. So, to go ahead and cream bronze, I'm going to be using the Soul Body Bronzing Cream. This is for face and body. This one is in the shade medium. I have been obsessed with this. If you have not gotten your hands on this and you like to cream bronze, you definitely need it. So easy to use and so beginner friendly. And then for concealer, I haven't used this one in a while. This one's from KKW Beauty and I will leave the number, which is the shade down below for the concealer. And this concealer was really beautiful, but girl, I used a dark foundation and then this concealer was so light. So my complexion was a little bit all over the place in today's video. I apologize, but I wasn't even using my normal products. But anyways, for setting powder for the under eye, I'm going in with my collab powder. Thank goodness, because girl, if I would use another powder and this would have got messed up, I would have to do my whole foundation all over again. But I did use my collab powder just to set my under eyes in place. And I actually didn't set my face today because my face was feeling a little extra dry. So we're going to move on to bronzer. I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Bronzer in the shade Dark Tan. You guys know this is my jam. This color is so perfect. I love it so much and it literally goes with any look. And then for blush, I'm going in with the Milani Baked Blush. This one is in the shade Bellissimo Bronze. Such a beautiful blush, you guys. I love it so much. And then I'm going in with a MAC highlighter just to highlight. This is a Whisper of Guilt. And that is basically it for the face. So let's go ahead and move back into the lower lash line. So of course for my waterline, I'm going in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. No surprise. These are one of my favorite eyeliner formulas ever. And this one is in the shade Catsuit. Such a beautiful color and it definitely matched the lid perfectly. And then for the lower lash line, I first went back in with the orange shade, which is called I Am Orange, on a nice pencil brush and just blew that out under there. And then I did go back in with the shade Flavor Town as well. You guys already know when it comes to this part in my makeup routine i completely forget to show you guys the colors again but at least i showed them in the beginning you know so you guys at least know which shades i'm using and then to give my eyes some depth i did go back in with that brown shade which is i believe the shade called you're not my real dad super beautiful and then i took the pencil brush and just made sure that that outer part of the eye really matched the outer part of the lower lash line and then of course i took the white eyeshadow in the palette which is called lumos i believe and popped that right in my inner corner so after that the look is basically complete i just went back in with some mascara and look at me not using the kkw beauty mascara this is actually nars this climax mascara another favorite of mine 
so beautiful i love it so much it's actually a really great mascara if i had to choose between this and kkw girl you know i'm choosing kkw but anyways i went back in with some more yellow because i felt like it got kind of lost and then this is me contemplating if i like this look or not but girl at the end of it i was like no it's cute we're gonna go with it so next we're gonna work on the lips so no surprise girl i don't even think i should show my lips in videos at this point because I use the same lip combo. This is KKW Beauty's lip liner in the shade nude number two. It is so good, so good, okay, that I have two backups in my collection. It's amazing. So I do line my lips and then I do feather them in. I like that look. I like that more blended look with the lip liner and liquid lipstick. And then of course, no surprise, I'm using my Nakey Nakey liquid lipstick from Laura Lee Los Angeles. If you are a nude lip lover and you have not tried this liquid lipstick, you need to go on her website right now and purchase it. It is so good and it's always on sale. You can always get it at a discounted price. So I did go ahead and apply that to my lips and that's basically it. This is my favorite lip combo. It's perfect and it goes with any look. And then for setting spray, I am gonna go in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Mist. This is not the original packaging. This is like a limited edition packaging that I got in a set that I bought at Sephora. Um, so that's why it looks like that, but it is the same product. And then I just took my Batty B Mini Fan and just dried that up and I never show this in my videos but I wanted to show it today so usually when my makeup is done my brows look super light from applying all the powder so I always always go back in with my brow pencil just to make sure that the brows are nice and defined and kind of just refresh them I feel like it makes a huge difference and then after that this is me making sure that the look looks good and it does so this is the completed look I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys